Hey guys, welcome back to the channel after about one year. Thank you for your patience. You've been, well, amazing. Loads of good messages missing the videos. Uh, so I really appreciate that. And we are back in the workshop. It's been about one year uh, since I last uploaded. Life just got in the way, the business got a baby. So uh, yeah, it's been really busy, but we are back. Things are definitely changing. Sorry, the compressor's going. That's better. So let me show you what cars I've got now. Things have changed. The 350Z is gone. We bought a different drift car. I still have the, uh, there it is. The JZX100 has also a car hiding under the, uh, under the cover there. We also started working on my wife's Mini, which is nearly stripped, ready to go get blasted. But let's have a look at these two cars and then we'll check out the uh, 200, which you saw at the beginning of the video. The Mini is nearly stripped, we just need to get out the rear subframe and the rear windows and then cut the front because we're going to be putting a fiberglass front on there. And then send it for some blasting. And over here we've got this quite pretty C33 Laurel which has got an RB20. I had it for about six months but same reasons why I wasn't uploading, I haven't touched it which is just crazy. So. I think we need to change the loom. I've got a new engine loom because it runs a little bit funny. I've got a, an airflow meter and, it, and an intake. A few little bits and pieces that are missing. Obviously the JZX100, um, I just haven't done anything. So the engine is still in bits and well, so is the car really. So I think in order to get things moving, Mini definitely need to get, uh, get blasted. The Laurel will potentially be for sale because I just haven't really got the money to have three nice cars sitting around and that is actually a really nice car it just had a fresh paint job as well we're gonna have a look at it in a minute all right so 200 sx uk car which isn't actually rusty it doesn't look far different from uh, when i bought it the only slight difference is we've got a new battery a uh, little bit more secure a little bit nicer than it was a new isolator switch you know the kill switch because that was playing up and I just started changing the seats for a nice bright seat I'm not I'm not super convinced it's genuine and then we're gonna change the passenger as well and we've got some nice Takata harnesses to match the GDM and underneath so that's an SR20 from a an S14 so that's the band cam I think they call it where uh, it's got the uh, single VVTi Garrett uh, turbo I think it's GTX 3071R, uh, I think is the second generation uh, stock engine. Uh, it's got a nice wiring loom, uh, ECU master ECU. Yeah, all round good, good drift car. So on the top is the JZX100, which I haven't touched for, oh man, must be a couple of years. It was originally a GE car, well, it still is technically because there's no engine at the moment. Uh, the engine is in bits. I've got some GTE pistons, a little bits and pieces to make it a turbo car, hopefully, soon. Then we have the Laurel. So obviously looking a little bit sorry for itself, sort of barricaded by used oil, etc. So C33 with an RB20. Let's see if we can look under the bonnet. There she is. Wow, so cool. And then of course, the Mini, which is just never gonna go anywhere. That's always gonna stay with us. So I'm really looking forward to uh, starting on this as well. It would be quite nice to uh, give it a bit of JDM flair, but it's not my car, it's my wife. So uh, I'm gonna need to uh, slowly feed it in. So Thank you for sticking around. All the nice messages. Uh, I'm also quite glad I could help loads of people with the uh, manual conversions on the IS 300s. Uh, things are definitely happening. I'm really looking forward to making more videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye